The Telerian Academies are known for their magical research, powerful sorcerers, and accidental destruction of ecosystems. These Telerian Academies embrace a tradition of study and research, while discouraging the kinds of experiments that ruined the original island of Teleria. Baron, a master wizard and teacher at the Academy, wants his students to excel. Knowledge is no more expensive than ignorance, and at least as satisfying. He pushes them to achieve great goals, and in doing such, his teaching methods are rigid. Without order comes errors, and errors kill on Talaria. This statement has been seared into the student's mind. Magic is dangerous. Making one mistake could kill. The surprise and shock in a miscast spell made the student realize his miscalculations, and made him rethink his studying habits. Baron agrees. Next time, try something more appropriate for your skill level. A few months go by. The student is studying for finals. He can't make a mistake like that again. Just the day before the exam, Baron gives the students a question they can expect from the exam. If yesterday was two days ago tomorrow, will the day after tomorrow be today or yesterday? His frantic search begins. Motivation was high in the academy once students realized flunking their exams could kill them. And it took the banning of temporal manipulation at Teleria West to teach its students the value of time. No shortcuts or long cuts here. This leads to the frantic search and trying to find that exact thing that could solve the student's problems. He just had to remember what he did with it. With the help of the spectacles he found in the plans in Baron's Codex, he searches high and low for the clue he found weeks earlier. Hey Feather! Could you help out a bit? Training as an artificer over the break had proven useful as well. Gaining access to an assistant would really help. Flying to and fro, Feather searches alongside the student. Uh, what was it again? Vial of Dragonfire? No, too barbaric. What's over here by the Terrarian? Whoa, an ether vial. Could that be it? I'll keep it in mind, but I swear it was a book. Wait, is this it? Hold on. Oh man, gross. A grimoire of the dead. Definitely not that. Oh, I found it, Feathers! The Book of Rass! I knew I saw it in here! Just then, a window shatters outside the hall. Screaming and roars fill the air. What was that? This did not sound good. Little did the student know that the invasion of Dominaria had begun. Not too far away, someone had finally been completed. As Phyrexians and allies storm into the building, the student flees the room, still holding the book. Why has it always gotta be Talaria? Behind him, a smash crashes across the Phyrexian's face. This is the last time the student was seen. It's also the last time the Book of Rass was seen. What happens to the student? Well, we'll have to wait to find out. Okay, I bent the story just a little bit to fit this narrative, but I don't think it's that much of a stretch for what actually happened. I first noticed this card art when Ultimate Masters came out a few years ago. I noticed the Artificer's Assistant and then the Vial of Dragonfire next. The bottom right's Terrarion doesn't match the printed one exactly, and I'm still trying to hunt down the exact card, but maybe it doesn't have one. And it's close enough anyway. And Aether Vial is just sitting there right next to it, so that was pretty obvious. I didn't notice the Grimoire of the Dead until I stared at this card for 10 minutes while researching the video. So are there any other easter eggs I missed in this art? The only other one I could come up with was maybe Rise and Shine, but those could be any books from anywhere. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to purchase any of the cards seen in the video, make sure to click that TCG Player affiliate link in the description below. Thank you as well to my Patreon supporters who receive a printable token sheet each month for as little as $1 a month. Thanks again, and make sure you join me next week for your weekly dose of magic.